Praise the Lord, what's happening? Welcome to vlog number eight. According to me, Cadillac Kimberly. This is my stomping ground. This is where I get down. So if you're sensitive, you need to get in line with people all over the world. That's right. Join hands. Uh huh. And kiss my ass, please. Kiss my ass. You can look at me and tell, okay? I'm looking like Thelma back when she was going with eBay on Good Times. It's hot as hell, okay? Even in the lack. I couldn't let the hair down today, babe. I had to pull that shit up. <laughs> looking like I've been carrying baskets on my head when really all day I've been giving heat. It. Just playing. No, I ain't. <laughs> but anyway, since I'm down in the South and I do have an affiliation with music, people ask me what I think about the VH1 Hip Hop Dirty South Awards. Um, they had the Dirty South Honors on VH1. So I checked it out. I didn't watch it in its entirety, but me and my girls did look at a little bit of it. Um, Luke was on point. He was 100. He was extra clean. And you know, he's married now. So I do believe that he's not cheating on his wife because all men don't cheat. Don't believe the hype women like you believe in all these damn numbers statistics are giving you and not believe in God for your mate. Fuck that. It's the same as in the Bible with the bread and the fish. And the same God, same situation. Okay? Don't bug out. Don't settle. Okay? Don't go for the height. Luke said that he's monogamous now. He's committed to his relationship, to his wife. And I believe it. Because, I mean, he done fucked everybody that is to fuck. Ain't no more pussy for Luke to get. He done had everything done. His ass ate, balls licked, everything. Whole swallowing. So, I believe Luke is 100 now and got his ass at home at a regular time. Okay? He been there and done that. Probably dropped a Cadillac. Um, mystical, you did that shit. You came out hard from prison. You got your mind right. You focused. Your team got your back. Because for you to get out of prison and to be on VH1 already, you got to good camp. And Phaedra, I think you got married a little bit too soon to the felon you with. You should have waited on the felon that you fucked. Because, you know, everybody know that you was fucking mystical before he went to prison. And, you know, Phaedra is, you know, she's going to be on the next season of The Housewives, Phaedra Parks. She's an attorney here in Atlanta. She represented Bobby Brown. And, um, just so you know, Phaedra, I'm not slandering you because I know you are an attorney and I ain't no dumb bitch. I'm just saying what people say in the street. I ain't saying it's true. I don't have any footage. I ain't saying I believe it. But that's what the word is, okay? But, um, yeah, I would have held out on Mystical if you ever slept with him, if you even know him. But, uh, yeah, I would have uh, waited on Mystical because I don't know. I heard that the um, man you're married to now is a, well, I know he's a felon. I read that in the paper. But I heard he's an African. And the only way I can see you making it with an African that's a felon is if he's a Nigerian. Because, you know, the Nigerians keep a hustle. The Nigerians going to get that paper. That's why they ass be felons. But good luck to you, Fedra. But you got thick skin anyway. Because when I told your ass about that fucked up sideburn you had with that Crisco oil on it, you took it well. So you cool with me. Um, Timberland, he was um, recognized and honored with an award. Um, and unfortunately, he spoke. That was some terrible shit. Uh, Trina... Okay, you know, you're supposed to be the baddest, but my camp, we're trying to figure out the baddest at what. I mean, you know, you look bad in your dress because you had that muffin sitting up on top, and you look bad with the bags up under your eyes, and your hair was bad. Okay, I mean, oh my God. We tried to sit around and try to figure out what hits you had, so all we could come up with was that song, Let That Nigga Know. Rent Dude Girl, Let That Nigga Know. So we want you to let your nigga know that you need your hair fixed, okay? Let that nigga know. Okay, uh, that bad is, you might want to put that to rest, okay, because it's becoming literal now. Um, Bone Crusher came out, and he was limping. I don't know if he's been in an accident or if the weight on him has taken his toll, but he's a really cool dude, and I hope that his health is fine. You know, as fine as it can be, being as obese as he is. And, you know, he did his bit that he ain't never scared. But, you know, he had to lift his shirt up and show us that his diet consists of chitlins and scared the hell out of all of us. Okay, now we scared. Okay, but, um... Get better, Bone Crusher. And uh, Missy Elliott came out and did her thing. That bitch, she came out strong as hell. She came out strong as hell to get your freak on. Made us all go get our freak on. Okay? And not only did she do it big, but she has gotten big. Oh, my God. That Missy, they already say you eat pussy. But I'm thinking you eat pie, too. Because, baby, you have gotten big as hell. You know, I love you, Missy. But, my God, what you eating? What you putting in your mouth? Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm, that's all I got to say about that. Kelly Rowland wore that dress. Kelly Rowland, big up. I don't really care nothing about you. You know, Beyonce made the group. But baby, you look good in that blue dress. Teach Trina about that. Teach Trina about how to be bad. Because she thought she was on point. Kelly Rowland, you are on point with your dress, okay? You are a boss. And then Chili came on, and we had to turn the channel. The Housewives of New York. 
Okay, Bethany, you keep it 100. I identify with you more than any other. You kept it real. You called Jill out on all her shit. She couldn't even deal with it. I used to love Jill. Last season, because everybody knows I'm a housewife junkie. If anybody didn't know, they must have been asleep. I am a housewife junkie. I could go on housewife trivia jeopardy and win, okay? Win a house in Orange County or New York or anywhere. Or one in Atlanta and give it to Nene broke ass. But anyway, um... Bethany kept it 100 throughout. She always has. Um, she called Jill on all her shit. Jill, you do keep score. Jill, you are in high school. You know, you petty as hell. And Bethany, don't let Jill back in because the only reason she wants to be your friend is because she's not. As long as she can control and it's about her and she has the upper hand and she has the power, then she's cool. So, but you're not letting her into your space and letting her enjoy what you have going on. She's like, mm, because she wants it all. But... You know, fuck Jill. You you know who she is. She's shown you who she is to hell with her. But now, Jill, those were some sharp-ass green shoes you had on at the reunion. Them motherfuckers were sharp as hell. She had on some sharp-ass shoes. And she a good-looking white Jew. You a good-looking Jew, but you fucked up on the inside. You got some fucked up ways. And Kelly, oh, my God. Not only do you need a prescription, bitch, you need a job at a pharmacy. Oh, my God. You crazy as hell. And I ain't even going to dog you out because I don't believe in fucking with the mental challenge because you can't help that. But you got life fucked up you really do you need a prescription today you need to, you need like four prescriptions but you know you kept it real though and let that shit out how you had to film with them and andy on bravo it was like you know at the reunion no you didn't no you didn't and you were like yes i did yes i did kelly i believe you because i said to myself why would she even go on this trip with these hoes she don't even like and like you said kelly bravo made you go and andy is saying no they didn't make you go he's saying you know and I understand what Andy is saying, but at the end of the day, when it came to the contract, I believe you, Kelly, with your crazy ass. I believe your ass did have to go. And that's why you wigged out, because you didn't even want to be there, you know. But they need to get you a prescription, girl. Get that in your contract. And um, Teresa from the Housewives of New Jersey, y'all can believe that shit about her being broke if you want to. Ain't no way in the hell you claim when you make a 75000 and you get in debt. Of 11 million. That ain't even how it go, baby. That's a soprano shit action popping off. Y'all can believe the hype if you want to. Teresa ain't no broke bitch. Please believe it, okay? But Teresa, that's real fucked up how you had the new baby. And you asked your husband, Joe, what he wanted to name it. And he said, I don't care. Baby almost hit the flow. Where they do that at? That was so fucked up. I was like, damn, Joe ain't shit. The way he did Teresa like that. You know, and you know, Dina, you ain't gorgeous like you used to be. I believe now you have added hair. I don't believe you had weave before, but I believe you got weave now. But you look bad on the um the Bravo uh, after show with Andy. That red shit made you look trashy. Them with some ugly ass fucked up shoes you had on. You just messed up your whole image. You know, that, that classy look you used to have. You just trashed it when you were on Bravo with Andy. It was terrible. Um, when you were on with Ramona, you know, Ramona, when you were on with her, mm -mm, you just made yourself look bad. You just fucked up everything. You had that old ugly ass, stinking ass cat with the scar on top of his head. Oh, you just fucked up the whole impression I had of you. So, I see why you getting the hell on now. Now, it ain't just because you tired of Danielle because like Andy said, you ain't even having to film with her that much. You ready to get the hell on because your husband don't want all that heat from Danielle because he a big motherfucker, whoever he is, and he a smart motherfucker. He ain't never on the camera. <laughs> How about that? Caroline, your husband tired of you. He makes jokes about it too much. Every episode, he making a joke about being tired of your ass. Take it serious, bitch. And uh, Jacqueline, you don't deserve your husband. You ain't hard enough. You just got some balls this season when you put your daughter out, who should have been slapped in the mouth two seasons ago. That bitch would have got the ball, okay? You need some bank head in your system. But, honey, your husband, okay, good luck with him. He, he needs a harder chick. He needs a, like, a Bonnie-type chick. You know, you two, you know, sweet, 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 gonna choose Danielle over your own family who the hell does that now you looking stupid blood comes first always there's always blood then friends okay and you ain't got half as many friends as you motherfucking think not just you Jacqueline but they a motherfucker watching me I got one shout out and then I'm out I'm doing one shout out tonight because he's just that special he's in a class of his own he's my number one fan for real he's at Quentin ATL on Twitter that's my number one fan as far as I go in my career and trust I'm going like a motherfucker okay he's my number one fan he will always get dibs on 
on everything first. Everywhere I go, he will always be able to be. At Quentin ATL, I told you I had you. I got you. I love you, okay? Um, you can follow me on Twitter, at Caddy Kim. You can YouTube me. You can Google me. That's all I got. You can look at me and tell. Look, I'm tired as hell. You can look at me and tell I'm tired as hell. I love you. Holler at me on YouTube, on the web, wherever. You know I'll holler back. I love you. I'm Cadillac.